Could there have been life on Mars in its early days? This intriguing question has propelled numerous missions to the Red Planet, sparking curiosity and fascination across the world. To unravel this mystery, we must first delve into the evolution of Mars' ecosystem. In the beginning, around four and a half billion years ago, Mars was of the planet still cooling from its formation, and its surface was likely a molten sea of magma. As time progressed, the surface cooled and solidified, creating a crust. Around this period, the Martian atmosphere began to form, primarily composed of carbon dioxide, with traces of nitrogen and argon. The atmosphere, in conjunction with the planet's distance from the Sun, allowed for the existence of liquid water, a crucial element for life as we know it. Fast forward to around 4 billion years ago, Mars entered what scientists refer to as the Noachian period. Named after Noachis Terra, one of the oldest regions on Mars, this period was characterized by high rates of meteorite and asteroid impacts. Despite the chaos, these impacts may have also brought water and possibly even organic compounds to the surface of Mars, further increasing the potential for life. The Noachian period also saw the beginning of extensive volcanic activity. The volcanoes spewed out gases, contributing to an already dense atmosphere and creating a greenhouse effect. This effect, combined with the planet's magnetic field, allowed for a warmer and wetter climate than what we see today. Large bodies of water, possibly even oceans, may have existed, providing potential habitats for life. However, around three and a half billion years ago, Mars began to change. The planet's core cooled, causing the magnetic field to disappear. Without this protective shield, solar winds started to strip away the atmosphere. This period, known as the Hesperian period, marked the beginning of the transformation into the barren, inhospitable planet we know today. The final stage of Mars's ecological evolution is the Amazonian period, which began around 3 billion years ago and continues to this day. During this time the loss of the atmosphere continued and the surface water evaporated or retreated underground. The once warm and wet planet became a cold, dry desert. In summary, the journey of Mars' ecosystem has been a dramatic one, from a molten world to a potentially habitable planet with liquid water and a thick atmosphere, and finally, to the cold, arid world we see today. The possibility of life in its early days is still a topic of much debate, with evidence of liquid water and necessary conditions adding fuel to the intriguing question. As we continue to explore the Red Planet, we may yet uncover answers to this cosmic mystery, deepening our understanding of Mars and perhaps our place in the universe.